you know, I competed as a bodybuilder back in the late 80s and early 90s. And whenever we were training in between, when we were resting, we didn't just sit down. We were stretching the muscle that we were training. Yeah, Frank Zane used to be one. Yes, do you remember? That. Yeah. You remember? <laughs> a lot of guys talked about the importance of stretching. Now, one of the theories was that that stretching was stretching the myofascia, you know, that like casing around to allow the muscle. That was sort of the, which... <laughs> we know is, is not really the answer, but it appears that that stretch, having that muscle under a stretch is important for hypertrophy. And what do you think, like I, I, I can sort of see now a lot of people thinking that, you know, changing the way they're training and incorporating that into it. Like, are there any sort of, so, so take, taking that idea and applying yes. it. Are there any sort of do's and don'ts? Because my guess is if you, you just focus on that end range, um, there could be other, consequences that it creates potentially mm -hmm. so so what 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 it, when you take that information what would be sort of like a rule of thumb about considering how you would apply that into a workout yeah so how i would apply it into a workout is that i would do the first exercise for so let's say you're doing a chest workout and let's say it's three sets let's just do typical chest workout three sets of the bench press three sets of incline presses, three sets of flies, three sets of crossovers. Let's say that's your workout, right? When you get to the bench press, I would probably stick on pressing exercise like the bench press. I would probably do all half reps for the bench press because here we're not just talking about the stretch. We're talking about range of motion of a muscle group versus an exercise. So if you were a power lifter, you have to complete a full range of motion on the bench press, right? The arms have to be fully extended at the top. However, the bench press doesn't just work the chest, right? It works the shoulders and the triceps. The shoulders and the triceps are more involved on the bench press in the last half of the range of motion. The chest is more involved in the first half. So I would stick with the bench press, but again, this is just one exercise that we're talking about here very specifically, that I would stick to all half reps because again, it's, it's minimizing the use of the shoulders and the triceps, keeping the focus on the chest while keeping it in the stretch position, right? However, if we were doing arms, say, the biceps, right, on that first exercise, I would not do all sets for half reps. This is, and sorry to get a little confusing here, but I would just do one set of half reps, okay? The very first one, while you're strongest, mm -hmm. okay? Why? Some experts have recommended if you want to try this long length partial thing to do the last set as your half rep. And I say that's wrong because the other benefit of the half rep is that it allows you to lose more weight. Okay. So for example, on the bench press, if you were going all the way up, right, most people are weaker in the shoulders and the triceps and the chest. So the amount of weight that they can lift with the triceps and the shoulders is less than the chest. So if they were doing a full range of motion where their arms are fully extended at the top and they were doing, let's say, eight to 10 reps, they would use far less weight than if they were just staying in that bottom half. So it's allowing you to overload that muscle while it's in a stretch position. So my line of thinking is if it's allowing you to overload that muscle in the stretch position, do those half reps when you're at your strongest not at the end of the set, right? At the end of the three sets when you're at your weakest and already fatigued. You want to really overload that muscle. And that may, you know, we really don't know why the, the long length partials work so well, whether it's the stretch in particular, or maybe it's just the fact that you can use more weight and you're mm -hmm. really placing more overload right, yeah. on that muscle. But So what I would do is for most muscle groups, except for, like I said, chest and talking about presses, I would do the first set as a half rep and then finish the last two as full reps. Right. And then on the very last set, when you can no longer complete any more full reps, continue doing reps, whatever the range of motion, until you literally can't move the weight.